Hello Kido, Sir E is here and for this video we will have the last part of our lesson on electric motor and we will talk about DC motor or direct current motor. <laughs> so what is the application of this turning effect? This is observed in what we call DC motor. DC stands for direct current. So when we say direct current, it means that the charges are moving in or a single direction only. And it looks like this one. Maaring familiar kayo sa itsura nito. So ano nga ba ang DC motor? So DC motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. It means yung kuryente na dumadaloy sa wire coil natin ay magkukos ng mechanical energy. So, one form of mechanical energy is kinetic energy, which is the energy possessed by a moving object. So, gagalaw ang coil na ito. So, that's why it is called turning effect. Pero, saan ba natin nakikita ang mga DC motor na ito? Pwede natin ito makita sa mga appliances natin tulad ng mga DVD players and electric fan. At gayon din yung mga battery-operated toys. The next question is, how does the DC motor work? So una, alamin muna natin ang mga components na to. Meron tayong apat na primary components ng DC motor. So the first one is the rectangular wire coil. At ito yon yung kulay pink sa ating diagram. Pangalawa is the permanent magnet. So the permanent magnet is here, the north and the south. Pangatlo, the split ring commutator. And the split ring commutator here is this one. And lastly, the carbon brushes. So we have two. So here's the carbon brushes which is directly connected to the split ring commutator. Pero ano nga ba ang functions ng mga ito? Una, ang rectangular wire. Alam natin na ito ay magiging passageway ng current. At pag dumaan ang current dito, ang electricity, ito ay makakapag-produce ng magnetic field. Number two, the permanent magnet. So alam natin na ang magnet ay may natural magnetic field. So, mag-i-interact yung dalawang magnetic field. Ano naman ang function ni split ring commutator at ni two carbon brushes? Later, we will explain. Pero paano nga ba gumagana ang isang DC motor? In this illustration, pinapakita na ang movement ng Rectangular coil ay counterclockwise. Eh sir, bakit po naging counterclockwise? So as we analyze it and as we apply the Fleming's left-hand rule, AB side is having a downward force while the CD side will have an upward force. So the movement is counterclockwise. Tatandaan natin na ang movement na to ng rectangular coil ay tinatawag natin turning effect which is caused by the interaction of the magnetic field of our strong magnet and also the magnetic field produced in the current carrying coil. So as it turns, we will have this position. So there will be switching and later on it will look like this. So, kung makikita nyo, nagpalit na C, C and D, and B and A. And this one is what we call half of a revolution. 
So, kalahati ng isang revolution or isang cycle. So, what is the function of the split ring commutators? So, ito na yung function ni split ring commutator. So, to reverse the direction of the current in the coil every half of the revolution. Kung naalala ninyo, from this position, we will have this one. And this is our half of a revolution. With the help of the split ring commutator, it will reverse the direction. What's the purpose of that? To ensure that the coil continues to turn in the same direction. So until such time na bumalik ito sa original position nila. And that's what we call one complete revolution. And continuously, it will happen and happen. So anong mangyayari? As this coil is turning, the appliances or maybe the battery-operated toil will move. Ano naman ang function ni carbon brushes? Ito ay directly connected to the commutator and it is constantly rubbing onto it. And it is directly connected to the battery. So, ina-assure ni carbon brushes that the current can pass through the coil. So how can we increase the turning effect on a current carrying coil in a DC motor? So paano nga ba? So we have several ways to improve the turning effect on a DC motor. So the first one, we can increase the number of turns in the coil. So in the example, we only have one turn for that coil. So we can add more. And the more we add, the higher the turning effect. Next, we can also increase the current in the coil. Also, we can use stronger magnets. And lastly, we can insert a soft iron core into the coil. At sa pamamagitan ng mga ito, mapapa taas natin ang turning effect sa mga DC motors ng appliances natin at ng mga laruang battery operated. These are the references used. And that's it. We are done. I hope you understood the lesson on simple electric motor. Please watch my next teach vlog on AC generator. See you again. And enjoy learning. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.